So this is recording 11 since yesterday. She's recording number 11 since yesterday. I'm doing two casinos. This is one one of the casinos. Uh, I've currently made on this since yesterday £90.63. and pence. Um, I'm looking to make £3 profit to take my 120 up to 123.63. Then I'm going to switch casinos and do the same thing on a different casino. I'm going to use the missing section roulette tool. Click to play. I'm going to input the history of numbers from right to left into the tool. And then once I've input all these numbers into this tool, I can start placing bets on the dozens and the rows. And maybe the section numbers, uh, depending on how things plan out, uh, pan out, should I say. Um, and try and get a winning return. Right. So any dozen or any row that misses for six spins in a row, which is what I've got my tracking value set to in the lower left corner. Oh, that was a manipulated spin to number two. Um, is uh, my trigger point to place a bet, basically. So <clears throat> Two wins on this setup will give me profit of my target amount. If I win uh, either on my first or my second bet, if I hit on my third bet um, twice, then I would need to get another win. Right, so what we're looking for, we're looking for the bottom row to miss for two more spins, then I can place a bet on that bottom row. I could do two dozens here, I could do the double dozens or the double rolls, um, where you bet on the most recently hit roll. Or let's say rolls, right? So the middle roll just landed, so I could bet on that. And then the one that hasn't landed for the longest, which is the bottom, which is four four spins without a hit. So I could do the middle and the bottom. It'll only return uh, the chip value you're placing uh, on that. So if I put 50 pence on the middle and the bottom, I'm only going to get 50 pence profit if I hit. And I would have hit at number five. Um... That middle row's hit three times in a row now. Do you know what? I'm going to do the bottom and the top. I've just done the bottom and the top because they've yet to hit. Three spins without a hit on the top, five spins without a hit on the bottom. So I'm just going to give this a go just to see if it works. This will give me 50 pence profit if I hit. If I hit. Seven has hit. That's a win. So now that's just landed. Um... That's given me 50 pence. I'm going to repeat the same bet in case that hits again on the bottom roll or it goes to the top for another 50 pence to get to one pound, which is a third of my target. So the bottom and the top is what I'm betting on. What do you be the middle? 27 is the top, so I'm good at that. That's another win. That's one pound. Uh, then the second dozen and the third I'm going to do now. So the second dozen's not hit for five in a row, and the third dozen has just hit. So I'm doing the one that's just hit and the one that's not hit for the longest on the dozens now. So the second and the third for another 50 pence. This will get me halfway to my target. So I'm doing dozen, dozen, do I'm doing double dozens and double. Uh, rolls or columns. 11. And that's a miss look. So because I missed there, I would need to now uh, put a bigger bet on. So I'd rather just do the second dozen at a double up than doing three times the amount extra or twice times the amount extra on each of the two dozens. I hate covering a lot of numbers. Anybody that knows me and watches my channel knows that I hate covering a lot of numbers and losing so I'm looking to get to 123.63 that's my stopping point so 13 to 24 is the bet twelve look at that it's a bit unlucky isn't it how unlucky is that so repeat the bet and add a chip to the second dozen this will give me a 450 return 
uh, which is just shy of my target. I would need to get one more hit after this to get to my target. Unless I increase the stake now, but I don't really want to do that. So, 450 return on this bet if it hits. So I've just tried to do a slightly different setup on this, but I'd have been better sticking with my normal gameplay. Really, but 13 to 24 is the bet. Not hit for seven spins in a row, the second dozen. 31. Hmm. Repeat the bet. Add a chip. So I'll get six returns. Gets me to one, 122. Um, I could put, I'll put another 50 pence out there actually. So this gets me to my target if I hit. If I hit. So 13 to 24. I'm expecting to see 13 here because of the 31. 13, 31 combo. 31, 13. Might be totally wrong, but 13 to 24 is the bet. 25, look. That's just outside again, look. Yeah. Interesting. Still not hit. Nine spins in a row. Uh, that's 350. 9, 10, 11. 11, 10. So, 11, 50. So. Yeah, that's Put there 350. Yeah. 10.50. This gets me not to my target. Oh. Still not here. What is going on? What is going on? Uh, 515. That's 23. 22. Not many 50 pence. That'll do it. So. If this hits, it's a five pound fifty pence bet on the second dozen. Not hit for ten spins. In a row. Should have been twenty three, went to eight again, that was naughty. The way the ball travelled, that's wrong. That was wrong. Now I'm going to do, I'm going to bring out a big guns now, I'm going to do the neighbours of 35, and the neighbours of 8. I'm doing my combo bet now, I'm getting fed up of doing that same bet and losing, so now I've switched my bet. So now I'm getting fed up, I'm switching my bet over to my combo bet from 8. My combo bet from 8 is to cover 8 neighbour and 35 neighbour. And that's a perfect hit because that's going to give me my target. Thank you very much. Job done. So my combo numbers managed to get me out of trouble again. On this setup. So I've just made, uh, I wanted to get £3 and I've just made £13, which is pretty sweet. So I'm more than happy with that. That is this casino done. I'm going to move on to the second casino. I'll bring you, I'll bring you right back. Okay, welcome back. So I'm on the uh, the same casino, oh, sorry, same table, but in a different casino. So I'll click to play, and put the history of numbers again. Let's see if I can f this fares any better. I'm further in now, so this might give me my wins uh, sooner. When I play the dozens and the rows. Right, 13 spins, look at that, 14 spins now for this. So we've got two areas highlighting that I haven't hit for a long time. Um, I'm going to go with the highest count with a pound and the lowest count with a pound. There we go. I've got a balance of 73, I'm looking to get to 76. 76, 76 is the target. So I'm on the quadrant... Sorry, not good. Dozen one, because that's recently one of the recent hitting ones. And number two, which hasn't hit for a long time. So one to 24. Eight's a hit. Boom. Sweet. That eight is on fire. So 
that's just giving me one pound on my target. Just need another two. I'm going to repeat the same bet. So this is going to give me another one pound profit of the three that I'm looking to achieve. This is my second bet. The one through to twenty-four. Number four is a hit. Boom. So I'm going to repeat to the bet again. In fact, I'm going to switch. I'm going to go to the second and the third. I think that's a better bet because it's hit low numbers quite often in the history. There we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine numbers out of the twelve. That are all low so it's quite a high ratio so i've switched it to the second and the third and if this hits i've got my target and that's a stop so 13 to 36 and it's 15 that's a win thank you very much job done so I use the missing section tool doing double dozens and i generated my target value of 76, 76 so three pound profit i oh, thank you very much indeed so if you want to quickly look at what I've made so far, today, day two, £79.23, pence. yesterday £51.16, total over two days, £130.39, pence. slowly building my balances, using my roulette tools and combos and gameplays outside of the tools as well. Thanks for tuning in, I'll be back later to do another recording, see you again soon.